Welcome to Airborne Flight Training, coming up on this week's episode. Thrust Flight partners with Rising Aviation High School. U.S. Army orders aviation safety stand down. AirAbility announces flying scholarships for disabled individuals. And I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Thrust Flight partners with Rising Aviation High School. Thrust Flight, an Addison, Texas-based flight academy, announced that it had entered into a partnership with Rising Aviation High School, by which the two institutions will provide comprehensive flight training to students, thereby helping populate tomorrow's flight decks with a new generation of qualified pilots. Starting in their junior year, Rising Aviation High School students will have opportunity to avail themselves of flight training under the auspices of Thrust Flight's experienced instructors. By integrating flight training into its broader curriculum, Rising Aviation High School strives to better equip students for rewarding pilot careers throughout the aviation industry. Upon graduation, Rising Aviation High School students enrolled in the flight training curriculum will become eligible to matriculate to Thrust Flight's prestigious Zero Time to Airline program, an accelerated training initiative offering unparalleled access to resources, mentorships, and experiences salient to aspiring aviators' successful pursuits of flying careers with major airlines. A quartet of Rising Aviation High School students have begun their flight training with Thrust Flight, thereby embarking on life-changing journeys to their own futures via a career path that once clearly defined and eminently direct. And after the break, NetJet sued by its own pilots. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some shorter stories. NetJet sued by its own pilots. The NetJets Association of Shared Aircraft Pilots, the labor union representing the 3,000-plus aviators currently in NetJets' employ, has filed a lawsuit against their employer. The suit accuses NetJets of attempting to suppress union-related pilot speech in violation of federal labor law. NJASAP filed the action on April 24th in response to NetJets' threat to discipline or discharge pilots caught referring aircraft owners and customers to the union's website. CAE to open BizJet training facility in Central Europe CAE will soon expand its offerings in Central Europe, with an upcoming center supporting six full-flight simulators. The exact city for the new CAE spot has not yet been divulged past a vague promise of Central Europe, but should be open in the latter half of 2024, offering advanced pilot training for carriers throughout the region. CAE says the new spot will provide training for the gamut of business aviation, from the lighter end of the spectrum to large segment biz jets. RAA Applauds Flight Education Access Act The Regional Airline Association has applauded the introduction of the Flight Education Access Act. The bipartisan, bicameral legislation is intended to improve accessibility to pilot careers. RAA President and CEO Faye Malarkey Black stated, quote, There has never been a better time to become a commercial airline pilot, nor a time when our country was in greater need of more pilots. Wages and opportunities are soaring. This legislation addresses one of the primary access barriers, which is the high cost of flight education and training, and the dearth of federal resources to finance training, end quote. EAA seeking to fill 700 temporary air venture jobs. The Experimental Aircraft Association will presently host walk-in hiring events ahead of its Air Venture 2023 fly-in, the event's 70th anniversary. The EAA is looking to hire individuals to fill as many as 700 temporary positions throughout the expansive late July event. Available positions include retail associate, security and event support, auto parking cashier, camper registration, facility staff, and bartender. Qualified retail and auto parking applicants will be at least 14 years old. Qualified security applicants will be at least 16 years old. All other positions require applicants to be a minimum of 18 years old. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. 
U.S. Army orders aviation safety stand down. Army Chief of Staff James McConville has grounded all Army aviators not currently involved in critical missions following a trio of 2023 helicopter accidents in which a total of 16 service members have lost their lives. McConville stated, quote, The safety of our aviators is our top priority, and this stand down is an important step to make certain we are doing everything possible to prevent accidents and protect our personnel, end quote. At McConville's direction, U.S. Army aviators, quote, will focus on safety and training protocols to ensure our pilots and crews have the knowledge, training, and awareness to safely complete their assigned mission, end quote. Army spokesman Lt. Col. Terrence Kelly reported active duty Army aviation units would be grounded until they completed training events slated to take place through May 5th. Army National Guard and Reserve units will have until May 31st to complete training. The most recent mishap occurred on Thursday, April 27th, and saw two AH-64 Apache attack helicopters assigned to the U.S. Army's 1st Attack Reconnaissance Battalion, 25th Aviation Regiment, collide in the vicinity of Healy, Alaska. Of the four service members involved in the aforementioned collision, two expired at the crash site, a third succumbed during transport to a Fairbanks hospital, and the fourth suffered injuries of unknown severity. And after these messages, Airability announces flying scholarships for disabled individuals. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Airability announces flying scholarships for disabled individuals. Airability is a UK charity about the commendable mission of providing disabled individuals access to the challenge of piloting an aircraft. Across the broad sphere of human endeavor, few undertakings instantiate freedom from restriction so powerfully as flight. This axiomatic truth is particularly well understood by Airability's founders and staff, many of whom are themselves disabled aviators. Through various fundraising initiatives and thoughtful management strategies, Airability allows disabled individuals to get behind the controls of an aircraft for a fraction of the commercial rate. On April 28th, Airability announced its 2023 scholarship application window had opened and would remain so for a six-week period ending on June 9th. Awardees will receive five-hour flying scholarships which may be applied toward the attainment of pilot certification. Airability 2022 scholarship recipient Andy Braybrook of Grantham Lincolnshire stated, quote, The scholarship has given me something to study toward and look forward to each week, and proven that my fear of not being able to fly the plane was completely unnecessary. Mr. Braybrook, who was paralyzed in a 2017 motorcycle accident, added, quote, As soon as I saw the scholarship advertised, I knew that a door was now open to me which would not have been had I not been disabled and not known about airability, end quote. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.